I'm Charlie Bright of Gold Derby, and today I'm speaking with uh, Jeannie Alfenfesta, the producer of Lucy and Desi, uh, as part of our Meet the Experts documentary panel. Uh, first thing I wanted to ask is, um, do you have a memory of when you first saw Lucille Ball or I Love Lucy? I do, I do. Um, and it's uh, the one with Harpo Marx when they're mirroring the mirroring, you know, do you, you know the one I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. um, I, I was, I, I am, I always was a Harpo, a, a, a Marx Brothers fan, and I always loved I Love Lucy. It was always on my TV set. And when we started this, uh, our, this process, Amy used to say, it was like it came with your TV set. It was like that was what, and it's so true. It, it, that, that's what it was like for you. It was just that, you know, warm, fuzzy feeling that you would want to watch. Uh, so one of the uh, great things about this documentary is uh, not just seeing all of these amazing home videos of Lucy and Desi, but also these incredible uh, audio recordings, uh, uh, some astoundingly amazing quality that we hear. Uh, what was it like to go through, uh, uh, to, 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 have your, to have a staff going through all of those audio recordings and home videos of the, of the couple? Them. I mean, I was, um, this was, we started this whole process during COVID. So it was quite daunting, you know, and um, uh, going, um, I showed up at Lucy, Ar Lucy, Lucy Arnaz uh, uh, Luckinville is, is um, the daughter of Lucy and Desi. And, um, and if it wasn't for her and Lucy and Desi Arnaz Jr., um, you know, we, we wouldn't have just this wonderful access and going to Lucy's home. Um, and, you know, there's always one of you, I'm a family of three, and there's always one of us that's the keeper of all the records, so to speak, you know, you have that, that, you know, and, and so one of you is my, in my, our household, my brother is, so he's very, very organized and everything's like sealed. So Lucy was the same, Lucy was the same way and, or is the same way. And, um, and she was like, look, I, I, things are here. I just don't know where they are. And so she was just so generous with spirit and, and really well, truly welcomed me into her home to uh, go through her stuff. And um, one day I was, I was, I was going, oh, there's a lot of these photographs that we've seen before, but I was hoping to find that, um, you know, uh, I, somebody taught, you know, that, you know, I knew she wrote a book and I knew Desi wrote a book and I was hoping to find that like, you know, great, you know, holy grail. And I was in her pantry and um, I was literally, no kidding, I was literally stretching and I looked up and I said, I saw a lockbox. And I said, Lucy, is that a lock, is that a lockbox like just for you know, your immediate family or what is that? And she took a ladder up and she said, oh yeah, I think you're going to like this. And we pulled it down and it said, mom's precious tapes was sealed on top of it. And in that were these, what, it just still gives me goosebumps. It's in that we, we photographed it, it. Those tapes are, are, are in our film. Those recordings are in our film. It's there's, um, and some of the things, you know, we could have told a, a five parter because there were a lot more tapes that we could have, you know, uh, used, right? Um, that tapes included um, Desi after they were long divorced and remarried, um, Desi and Vivian Vance, and they had a party, a pool party, and they were, and the kids were reenacting their favorite I Love Lucy's. And it was so cute because everybody was playing a part. And Lucy, Lucy would say, okay, you're going to play that, you're going to play that. And then the kids would go, okay, I'm going to do this. And this is what we heard. And it was just so beautiful because it also instilled that relationship that we all wanted to you know, cling to, which is the through line of the film, which is that love story, because they maintained that respect and love for each other until the very end. And that was a beautiful thing. Was there any story or footage that you wish you had been able to use in the project, but for one reason or another, you weren't able to? Are there any other uh, aspects like that that you wish that you wish you had been able to uh, use in the finished product? So much. I mean, you know, we, we, um, we, this, this is a, it's a, it's a film. It's a one, it's not a three-parter or two, or even a two-parter. It could have been a four-parter easily. So there was quite a lot. I mean, you know, there was, we could have really illustrated, you know, or just all the, all these tapes of the family reenacting their favorite I Love Lucy's 
when the kids were little with Vivian Vance, with Desi Arnaz, it, to me was just that, that gift that, it, that, that again, I know I've been repeating myself, but that, that showed that through line of the love. So um, yes, there was so much more. There was interviews that they did, that they recorded. They recorded everything, which is really cool. We found real to real tapes. You know, what's interesting about what I found interesting is because I've been privileged to go, you know, to, to, to do this before and go into at people's archives is when you do find one thing, it's almost like a, what's the expression I'm looking for? Like, you know, when you're gold mining and you find a vein of gold and then there's more gold, it's almost, it's almost like that is a gift and that happens. And like, um, with this, after, you know, after we found those tapes, we then were going into another closet to pull out some more boxes. I mean, it's just so weird. It's like I'm making it up, but I'm not. And, and, and um, there were some audio tapes of Desi's that she forgot that she had. She actually didn't even remember, even know that she had the audio tapes of Desi um, recording his own book, you know, dictating his his own life story. And so there's aspects of his life story that, yeah, you know, we didn't that that wasn't, you know, that you could tell another aspect of his of his life. There's there's um, recordings um, when he's in in the office. There's Lucy's uh, interviews, which I know um, there's a radio show, you know, on, on XM Radio that that it has some of her inter Lucy interviewing others. But there's also of Lucy being interviewed. There's you know. Um, it, the, you know, the, the David Frost, even more David Frost interviews, you know, there's, there's a lot of aspects that you could have gone down other avenues you could have gone down. So it was hard. It was really hard to throw sometimes you're the baby out with the bathwater, so to speak. But I really feel that this film is whole and complete and just such a wonderful story, but it's, it's great to feel that there is more. Uh, what do you think is the biggest misconception that people have about Lucy and Desi's relationship? You know, if you if you didn't know about um, Lucy and Desi, you wouldn't realize how they were they were they were such outsiders. I mean, yes, they became a lifestyle brand. Yes, they became the person who um, you know one year they had this massively successful "I Love Lucy." It still gives me goosebumps talking about it. And they played another character in a mo in a movie, the, the long, long trailer, which is a massive success. But at the but at the same time, in order to get to that point, the the um, the you know what's the ten thousand hours, you know, to quote another author, was you know they had to really push their way into rooms that they weren't invited into, you know, and they. Um, had these innovations that people said can never be done. So I think what this, the, you know, the side that I don't think people really know is all the things that Desi Arnaz, um, you know, in, did and the innovations that it was his tenacity, you know, never take, uh, you know, no for an answer and, um, and just do and do it yourself, you know. And with Lucy, again, it's this um, ever, ever, uh, you know, always the student, always rehearse, be prepared. Um, you know, these are the things that like, you know, I'm sure your parents told you, you know, you're, you know, you, and that the, these are things that, um, you know, you, we, we, we live by, but I think it's the, the things that, um, you know, when people said to Lucy, you shouldn't be marrying this man, he's seven years older than you, he's brown, he's not, a, as Lucille Ball says, he's not a real American. Well, he, he is a real American. This is what this country is made of, men like Desi Arnaz, who is sophisticated, educated, and takes, uh, makes the American dream what it is. That's Desi Arnaz. Well, uh, Jeannie, thank you so much for joining us. We wish you all the best, and we look forward to speaking with you for our panel in just a little bit.